A little girl came home from a neighbor's house where her little friend had just died. Why did you go, questions her father. To comfort her mother, said the child. What could you do to comfort her, asked the father. The girl replied, I climbed into her lap and I cried with her. See, empathy is the ability to feel and understand the feelings of another by putting yourself in their shoes. See, I've been through some crazy things in my life. I had a crazy home life growing up and have been through some pretty rough situations since high school. Some because of my own dumb decisions and choices. A lot of those decisions and choices led me down a path of hurt, pain, and even feeling separated from God. I remember feeling alone and wish someone could just begin to understand the hurt and rejection that I felt. But in that, I found a savior that loved me and could relate to my loneliness and pain. So now, what do I do with what I've been given? Was I forgiven, comforted, and restored now just to keep that freedom to myself and be content? See, let's look at 2 Corinthians 1, 4 to 5. It says, He comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort others. When they are troubled, we will be able to give them the same comfort God has given us. For the more we suffer for Christ, the more God will shower us with His comfort through Christ. Wait, so he comforts us so that we can show the same comfort to others? That doesn't align with my selfish American thinking. I am comforted for me and I can just sit at peace and be content with myself. No, I am now to show the same comfort to others that are struggling with what I just went through. See, empathy is putting yourself in someone else's shoes and seeing yourself there. But how much more is it to actually have been through what the person is experiencing and just say to them, you know what, I get it. We are called to comfort those around us like Jesus did. Check out what Oswald Chambers said. When you're in the dark, listen, and God will give you a very precious message for someone else when you get into the light. Robert Louis Stevenson tells of a storm that caught a vessel off a rocky coast that threatened to drive it and its passengers into destruction. In the midst of the terror, one daring man contrary to his orders, went to the deck, made a dangerous passage to the pilot house, and saw the steerman at his post holding the wheel unwaveringly, and inch by inch turning that ship out once more to sea. See, the pilot saw the watcher and smiled, and then the daring passenger went below and gave out a note of cheer. I have seen the face of the pilot, he smiled. All is well. See, our words should reflect the hope and love of Jesus, our comforter. God is at the will, and guess what? All is well. He is with us so that we can comfort those in need and have empathy and compassion today, just as Jesus has done for you.